All right everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well on this Saturday. Tonight's video is going to be the Paul Carriage Award. So I'm going to go in the depth about who Paul Carriage was. Why is it the Paul Carriage Award? What is the Paul Carriage Award? So Paul Carriage played for Parramatta between 1997 and 1998. And he's known for having one of the worst ever performances in a finals match in the modern history of the game. I'm not going to go into great detail about what he did in the match. There's plenty of videos online that you can watch. There's especially a good one that goes for about three and a half minutes that shows what he did in that match v Canterbury in 1998 preliminary final. But what I'm going to talk about is how you qualify for the Paul Carriage Award and I'm going to go through some of the previous winners. So in order to qualify for the Paul Carriage Awards, you have to have played the worst match in the final series that year. You, you had to have had the worst performance in the finals game for that year. It doesn't have to be the preliminary final, doesn't have to be the grand final, just has to be a finals match. Now, generally, every year there's a couple of players that do meet the cut for the Paul Carriage Award and there's a bit of a vote off. But I've been doing this award since 2013. And how it all came about was I was watching the 2013 Grand Final, Eastern Suburbs v Manly, and David Williams had one of the worst matches in a finals game I've ever seen. He made a few errors, dropped the ball, let in a couple of tries, letting the winning try where Michael Jennings dove over the line. And I was seeing him meet at the pub, I went, he's playing like Paul Carriage tonight. And everyone just burst out laughing and they went, oh, that's class, that. Um... Paul Carriage and then I went I should start a Paul Carriage Award so every year the worst player in a finals match whether it be grand final or preliminary final they get handed this award it's all just for a bit of fun it's not official if you please don't get upset people out there if I name a player that you like it's just a bit of fun so David Williams, obviously, as I just said, he won the Paul Carriage Award in 2013. In 2014, the award went to Tony Williams um, in that match against South Sydney in the grand final for Canterbury. Canterbury were actually in that match um, into the second half, and then it was Tony Williams who missed a one-on-one -on -one tackle with George Burgess that allowed George Burgess to go to the line and score a try to pretty much send South Sydney on their way to the Premiership. Tony Williams had a relatively quiet game. He did score a try in the match, but besides that, he didn't really do much else. And then letting in that try off, because if, if he would have tackled George Burgess right there and then, George Burgess wouldn't have gone any further, but Tony Williams missed that one-on-one. -on -one. Now, 2015, Ben Hunt. Well, should I go into that? I think everyone knows why Ben Hunt would probably win the Paul Carriage Award in 2015. In 2016, the award went to Edric Lee for his performance in the preliminary final against Melbourne for Canberra. He dropped the ball twice when he should have scored a, tr a try. So instead of scoring two tries and sending Canberra into the 2016 grand final, he lost the ball twice. He did a few other errors and as a result, Melbourne made the grand final instead. In 2017, Bleak Ferguson won the award for his performance in the 2017 preliminary final against North Queensland. He did score a try in the match, but on three occasions when he brought the ball back, um, he dropped the ball on the first or second tackle, which led to field position for North Queensland, where they went on and scored two or three tries from those mistakes. He had a horror game that night. Even though he did score the try, he was, he was way off colour and... I think Paul Cavage would be proud of that, that performance. In 2018, it went to Cameron Munster. He uh, played in the grand final for Melbourne against Eastern Suburbs, and he won the award for the Paul Cavage Award in 2018 because he was sin bin twice in the match. And then also, he kicked Joseph Mardu in the back on purpose, deliberately. Um, he had a really poor game. As I said, he got sin bin twice, put his team under all sorts of pressure. It was a very forgettable night for Cameron Munster. And last year, the award went to Darius Boyd for his performance in the 2019 elimination final against Parramatta. So Parramatta won this match 58-0. Now, there was 
some performances by the Brisbane players that weren't great, but Darius Boyd really sticks out because he was the captain. He was playing 5-8 that day. He only made one or two runs from what I read and only made about 10 metres and he missed a few tackles as well. So we had a really poor game and I decided to give Paul, uh, Darius Boyd the Paul Carriage Award for 2019. Who's going to win the Paul Carriage Award for 2020? We'll just have to wait and see. But it's an award that I'm going to keep doing every year. I have a lot of fun with it. I get a lot of laughs. So let me know in the comment section below. Going back through those previous years, years that I mentioned, who would you give the Paul Carriage Award to? Would you give it to the people I've given it to? Or would you give it to someone else? Let me know in the comment section below. If you're enjoying the content that I'm making, please consider liking the channel. Please consider subscribing to the channel. If you do, please click that notification bell so you get an email when I do a new video. And also, if you have a spare moment or you have some spare time, go to my Facebook page, which is Rugby League History. Um, if you like your nostalgia, you like your history, you like your old games, your black and white photos, I do all that. And I also run the Instagram page as well. So go check out that. I'll put a link in the description for both of those below. But as always, everyone, take care of yourselves. Take it easy. And I'll catch us all later. Ta-ra.